We hear it said all the time that Nevada's new economy uh -huh. is built on technology, things like drones and electric cars. But today we learned about how Nevada's original economy was built thanks to a different type of technology altogether. Ariana Bennett joins us now live with the story. And Ari, before the gaming and before the tourism came, the railroads. That's exactly right. Almost exactly 150 years ago, the Central Pacific Railroad connected Reno with Sacramento, creating a relatively very fast method of transportation for people to visit and for mail and goods to reach what would later be the biggest little city. I mean, it was just in the course of a, of a, of a generation that it went from where you had to walk across the place behind a, an ox team to being able to sit in a railroad car. Now today, history buffs and railroad officials celebrated the milestone with a symbolic golden spike. They say getting railroad service here literally put Reno on the map. It gave people a place to stop to take in the sights and allowed our economy to grow. It's also how the flood of hopeful divorcees got to Reno, creating the historical divorce capital of the world. And it gave northern Nevadans much easier access to the rest of the country. Before the railroad was completed, a stagecoach ride across the country could easily take six months. Once the railroad was completed, that same transcontinental journey, a week, ten days. Now, it took five years to build the railroad between Reno and Sacramento, and just one more year to connect Reno with Promontory, Utah, opening up access to the east. Covering the story live from the newsroom, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News.